All right, so the first one, we're just going to go the, the Brian Thomas touchdown, okay? And a couple of things here that we'll point out. And the end zone copy, maybe even more so. But look, you're in 11 personnel. You got a tight end end. And you're still going to have a seven-man protection. Now, we've talked a lot about seven-man protections and getting more guys out in the route. But this is a coaching staff that is going to utilize seven-man protections. That's just... Yeah, that's what it they is right now, it, and they sure. felt like they need it. And Florida had a couple of good edge players, and so that's what you're going to see here. But the key part here is, okay, Kayshawn Booty is in the slot, okay? Because look, a lot of times now you're going to move one of your better players into the slot, try to create a mismatch, make yep. one of their third, fourth best cover guys go in cover your best guy, and so watch how much attention they play uh, pay to Kayshawn Booty here. In the slot, Danny, you can go ahead and, and let it start running here, and I'll tell you when to stop. All right, so they are terrified that Kayshawn's going to be him. Stop it right there, Danny. He's got two defenders basically playing him as he is a gunner yeah. on punt. Yeah. I mean, they are both double coverage, man coverage on Kayshawn wherever he goes. Here, the safety, number five on the hash. He is basically walling Kayshawn off to not allow him to cross his face. And then you've got another defensive back that's not allowing Kayshawn to go up the field. So because Kayshawn and who he is and his reputation, like he's taking two defenders and yeah. those guys have no worries about anybody else on the field. He's got and, like a literal gravitational pull here. He, he, he does. He's like a whirlpool sucking in those defensive resources. And so on the bottom of your screen, you have man coverage with safety help. Okay. But up top, you have yep. a true as true gets one-on-one -on -one matchup with Brian Thomas versus any defensive back, and, literally any of them. And and and, and uh, what does Kayshawn end up running here? A post? Or yeah, we'll let it let it play out a little bit, Danny. So stop it right there. Something. When when does Jaden Daniels know though? I mean, like oh he like he immediately knows as soon as he's got this double coverage right here. Now he's got Malik Neighbors at the bottom of the screen because the safety does an awful job here for Florida. So honestly, like if he throws it to Malik Neighbors here, I'm okay with it, but. The easier throw is going to be to Brian Thomas. It's a shorter throw. You're on that hash right there. But this is just showing growth, okay? They're going to double team our best receiver, okay? In a true double team man coverage, not like safety help, like yeah. true double team man coverage. I've got a one-on-one -on -one with the receiver that can high point the ball with the best of them in the country, and he just takes it. He stays in a clean pocket, and he takes the shot. And, Danny, you can continue to play. I mean, we know Brian Thomas goes up. Makes the play. And that DB, because he was so worried about Kayshawn, there's no way he can help on this play. No. End zone copy here, okay? You've got, again, a seven-man protection. You're going to have Cole Taylor and John Emery stay in. Now, this is a play action as well because they're trying to sell like a zone run. Emery comes across. He's always going to fit right off the hip of Cole Taylor. You're trying to create that wall. Stop right Wait, there, go Danny. Back, go back. Pre-snap. He's okay. So this is the guy lined up over cage on the slot. Yes. Pre-snap is his number one read that safety, like whatever that safety does. If that safety goes to Kayshawn, then he knows he's yeah, going and, outside. And, and look, he knows right there because there's no way that at that depth, T Bob, and for our radio listeners, he's about I'd say nine yards deep. There's yeah. nothing that he can do to affect Brian Thomas's route because he's at nine yards right now. Right? He's on the hash. Brian Thomas is on the numbers. Yeah. Right? So. Jaden Daniels knows that that safety right there at nine yards is either going to add himself into the rush or he's helping with Kayshawn. So as oh, soon as this he... Is, I thought this was a guy on here. This is, uh, from this type of... This is the safety that ends up doubling Kayshawn. It's the one that ends up okay, walling okay, him yeah, off yeah, yeah, yeah. for the inside. So he so already knows pre-snap from his depth. Yeah, that he can That he's either adding himself top. in or as soon as he turns his body, which he does, to the sideline, he knows, okay, he is doubling Kayshawn. And so as soon as he sees that play at Danny... And then real quick, stop. That's what Kelly talks about trusting your eyes. Trusting your eyes and also trusting your protection. Will Campbell, locked up, right? You've got a double team here on the big, gigantic defensive tackle. You even got an extra guy that's looking to help. Emery's got his guy. Cole Taylor's got his guy. John Emery is extra. Now this guy's probably adding in to the blitz, and you're kind of inviting issues, but you have a very clean pocket right here. And last week, what did we see from Jaden when he had a clean pocket, right? He happy. In his head, he, you know, he's got a countdown, right? And he kind of, he rolled out to his left. He got a two-yard gain, and it wasn't a touchdown when you had a player down the field that was streaking down the middle of the field. Okay, so he trusts the pocket. He trusts his receivers. He trusts his eyes before the snap, right? And go ahead and play it, Danny. 
one-on-one, stay in the pocket, deliver a football, touchdown Tigers. Right, so that's growth from a week ago. That is, okay, pre-snap, I know this safety can't play Brian Thomas. He's here for Kayshawn, or if he adds himself in, Kayshawn's going to be the guy because he's coming from nine yards. Kayshawn's running basically what turns into a post route, so that's where I'm going to go with the football because Kayshawn has one-on-one. Once the safety doesn't come, then he knows, okay, Kayshawn's getting double teamed. I've got a one-on-one up top. I've got Malik Neighbors down. He's got man coverage with safety help. Now, the safety played it really, really poorly. It ends yeah. up being one-on-one, but Brian Thomas is the, the go-to. So I mean, You could have thrown it, but it would have You been, could have, but have that's not what the read would have told yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And so you did exactly everything you're supposed to do in that moment. And look at and look, and look what happened. Imagine that, right? You do everything you're supposed to do. You trust that receiver group. You trust your eyes, your read, and uh, well, touchdown and a big touchdown. And shout out Brian Thomas. What a catch! I mean, the defender's arm within his own, and so finding a way to come down uh, with that ball. All right, let's go to the second play, uh, Daniel. Please. All right, so a different formation here. You're in a three by one. Still same personnel, eleven personnel, even uh, the same guys there for you okay and this is going to be another example of Jaden Daniels trusting the protection also trusting his receiver but it's also going to be kind of the same thing as far as the attention that Kayshawn gets in the slot all right Danny you can go ahead and start to roll it I'll tell you when to stop here Florida's got like by the way Florida does have some confusion on the defensive end you can see safeties asking what the play is You've huh. got Ventrell Miller thinking, should I blitz? And then you jump off sides. And so it's a free play. Stop right there. All right, free play. Now, this safety right here on the uh, the bottom of your screen, he's on the hashes. And for those listening on the radio, he is flat-footed as flat-footed can be. And his eyes are still on Kayshawn Locked Booty. On Kayshawn. Kayshawn Booty is about 10 yards away from him in depth and also about five yards <laughs> inside of him. But he is locked in, laser focused on Kayshawn. Jaden, as you can tell, he sees that. He sees that this safety, for whatever reason, is flat footed, locked in on Kayshawn Booty, who's nowhere close to him. Now, Cole Taylor does a really nice job. I believe that's Cole Taylor, Mason Taylor, same thing. He's running an out right here at the bottom of your screen. And so he's bringing that defender away from this throw. And because this safety, which in fact, I don't know what this coverage is supposed to be because he plays it so poorly. <laughs> you see one-on-one because, look, Jeray's running full speed here at the bottom of your screen on the 40-yard line. The safety who is on the hashes right now should be trying to help this because there's nothing he can do to affect Kayshawn's route. So you recognize they have a bust in the back end. Again, what do you have? One-on-one coverage. And then if... Jaden, if, if the safety were to play correctly and Jaden sees him drop, then you just go to Kayshawn underneath, you, right? You go to Kayshawn. That's the easy throw. He's coming back in your progression. Now, you could you know, throw it to the tight end here. That'd be a very difficult <laughs> throw. A, yeah. I mean, he's running He's running open. Difficult throw. If this safety plays it correctly, you take Kayshawn every day. He's running. He's going to catch it and probably get at least 15 yards on it. But because the safety plays it poorly, yeah. you see that. You take your shot. And, again, the context of this play right here, it is third and eight. It is uh, you're at your own 45-yard line, essentially, and there's two minutes left in the half, and it is tied 21 to 21. I'm glad you brought that up, T. That's a great point because it's third and eight. If I throw it to Kayshawn right here, I get the first down. Yeah. Okay? I get the first down. And every game before this, that's probably where the ball is going. Agreed. But you realize, yet again, clean pocket. You realize free play because they're offsides. You realize poor technique by Florida's defensive back. 